What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Things You Don't Hear in Church podcast. My name is Ethan. My name is Derry. And today, we're asking the question, does everyone worship the same God? Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. I, I've heard a lot of different answers on this, and a lot of people have a lot of different beliefs. And I think it's fair. You can believe what you want, obviously. That's what life is. Um, but I think it's a fascinating question, because then you would think, like, it, it sort of has to do a little bit with the question of, um, like, God's, or sorry, not the question of God's hiddenness, but the question of like, well, what if you're born somewhere else? So you, you believe something else, right? Yeah. Um, which we could, this isn't what this episode's about, but um, there are good answers to that question. But this kind of goes into that a little bit because people are wanting to make an explanation for uh, every human's desire to know God, right? Yeah. Or to serve God or to love God or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you know, a lot of people, well, to be clear, really fast, just to define this question, I think what we're not asking or what we're not saying is some kind of, like, Christian universalism, right? Yeah. That's not really what we're talking about. We're not saying that, like, everybody uh, believes in the same God and everybody's going to heaven, like, all paths lead to God, right? Right. Right? What a lot, what some people like to ask, though, is, like, we as Christians believe in the one true God, right? That's what, yeah. we, that's what we believe. And... Is it fair to say that, say, all the Muslims in the world, they don't follow the right God, but they still follow God, right? Or they so, try their best to, to the bill. Man, it, it's not only about, like, them doing their best, but the point is, like, everybody that serves some kind of monotheistic God or desires to know God is really trying to follow the, the God same, that we believe the in. The same God. Right, and so... If you, if you are a theist and if you believe in God, you really believe in the one God that really exists, even if you don't call him the same name as like the God that, that you have, right? right? I think it's an interesting question. It's very nuanced. Um, it's, it doesn't have anything necessarily to do with your salvation or where you're going after you die, but it has to do with your expression towards God here on earth. Uh, it might have to do with salvation. Why? Like, if a Muslim believes that they're... Like, Muslims aren't going to go to heaven. Unless they become Christian. Right, right, right. But I'm, I'm saying if we're talking about salvation, then we're talking about Christian universalism. We're not talking about okay. we're just We're just talking about do they worship the same God as right. we do, right? Where's the distinction in there of like, if someone is worshiping Allah, right? Is it the same as worshiping Yahweh? Is it the same as worshiping Yahweh, even though they don't know Yahweh? But they're still giving worship to God, that, the that idea, being they think it exists. The idea right? of a one God that created things. Yeah, and so if someone, so let's say, this is also, just to be clear, not something I necessarily believe. Like, I don't hold this stance, but we're talking about this question, right? Um, so let's say I'm God. I'm sitting up in heaven. I'm the only God exists that exists, yeah. right? Allah doesn't exist. Maybe some people think he's like a demon or something like that, right? Um, but I'm the only God that exists because there can only be one, uh-huh. right? I'm the, the maximally supreme being, God. And there's this group of people on earth that are worshiping who they think God is, but it's clearly not me. It's not how I've d- described myself in nature. But they are worshiping God, right? Yeah. Are they worshiping me because they're worshiping God? But they still don't know me, obviously. They're very misconstrued in what they think about me. Yeah. Completely wrong, actually. But they're still trying to worship God. Are they worshiping me or is it not worshiping me at all? And I think we can talk about a few different aspects. Like we can talk about belief versus like worship versus like a desire to know God. Uh-huh. We can like talk about that later. But what do you think? Oh, jeez, you caught me at the wrong time. <laughs> I should not be yawning in front of you. You're jet lag. Yeah. Ah, right. You're yawning because I'm yawning, though. Yeah. Um, short answer, I don't think they're worshiping the same God. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of people who will go to the Middle East as, like, Christian workers, and a lot of them will tell Muslims, like, oh, yeah, we worship the same God. You just call them by a different name. Like, mm-hmm. So you can still go to the mosque and pray and, and do all this stuff, but you have to, like, you know, focus on Jesus now. I don't... And they say, like, yeah, Allah and Yahweh, same thing, just different titles. I don't agree mm-hmm. with that idea. Um, mainly because God has revealed himself and there's specific ways in which to follow him. And so people might have the idea like, oh, I'm following the one true God. But if you're not following him in the way that he's commanded people follow him, Mm -hmm. then you're not following him. You know, you're following an idea of what you think this one true God is. It's more of like an idea, like like an idea in your imagination. Yeah. You're worshiping a God of your own, own creation because you think it's right. Mm-hmm. And you might call it the one true God, but I would say it's 
it's wrong. It's not the one true sure, God. Sure. You might th- you might think it is. You're generally convinced, like, oh, I think this is God. I'd say you might think that, but it doesn't just because you think it doesn't mean it's true. And your heart might be set on worshiping a one creator God. Mm-hmm. But if you're not doing it in the way that he calls us to, then you're not doing it. Mm-hmm. I think we're not talking about the same thing. Really. Okay. Um, so clearly, I think if you're a Christian, you would say the, the person who's a Muslim is not following the one true God, right? Right. So I, and I don't think we're claiming they're worshiping like their worship is going towards Allah, their desire is for Allah and their like f- life is following Allah. Right. Um, but is it possible that like the idea of the God that they are believing in could be like, that could be about God himself it doesn't really change anything necessarily, but does God get any worship from them or oh, any, okay. and does God get anything from them desiring God, even if it's the wrong Yeah, I'd still God, say right? no. I think, I think I might say no too, but I just think it's very interesting. Right. It is, it's definitely interesting because they would think they are. It'd be a nice idea to say, mm-hmm. oh yeah, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, like all of them are ascribing worship to the God and that he's mm-hmm. receiving it. But just because of the fact that God is so serious about how he's to be worshipped, mm-hmm. in the Old Testament, he's, like, very clear about, like, do not worship me the way that other people around you are doing it. Mm-hmm. Worship me in this very specific way. It's, like, the idea that, say you're, like, if our worship was, like, a, like, it is substance, but say it's, like, water. I'm giving water, say, to this king. Mm-hmm. And this king is like created the empire. He's in charge of everything. Other people might say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna give my water also to the one king," and then might go all the way on to the other side of the country. Mm-hmm. And like, well, that's not the king. It's like, oh no, but I believe this is like the one king. So I'm gonna. It's like, well, the true king isn't getting the water. That yeah. water is being taken somewhere else. Yeah. And so, no matter how much they try and they want to, and we keep using Muslims as, a, but that's just because it's a big example. It's also for Jews and Buddhists and Hindus. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, it's just like you, you're, if the substance of your worship isn't going towards in the right way towards mm-hmm. the thing you're trying to get to, you're not going to get there. Yeah. Right. Like you might drive with the intention of getting to Mexico, but if you never head in the direction of Mexico, even if you think Mexico is in that direction, but it's actually over here, mm-hmm. you're never going to get, does mm-hmm. that make sense? Yeah. 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 So let's take these kind of three aspects of one, knowing God, and then two, um, like, knowing and desiring God, uh-huh. right? And then two, like, uh, like following God, like, how, how you shape your life, like, like your your actions, like, towards God, I guess. And then, like, your worship towards God, like, okay. those, like, three things. Can any of those three things be anything to God if someone is worshiping a different God than, like, how he has displayed himself? Just in the idea of, like, this divine being that's outside of everything. So if you start with the first one, like, um, knowing God, if you're desiring to know God and let's say all of like for, I think like using Muslims or Jews is the best example because it's the closest you can get to our idea of like the monotheistic God, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if your ideas about God are, are similar, obviously not Trinitarian, but like you believe God is a maximally supreme being, Uh like you believe all those things about him, right? All, he has all power, he has all knowledge, like he is loving, right? All those things. Yeah. Can there be any aspect of you knowing God through, like, trying to know that version of a being, even though you are worshiping uh, Allah or something like that? Is there any aspect of you being able to know God through that, or no? I guess it, it, that. I would. I think I would say no. But yeah, I, would, I just think it's it's interesting. I don't mean it. I probably yeah. I have to say no. Like you don't know God. You don't. Mm. But the thing is, like, there's characteristics in that idea that are true for the true God, right? Mm-hmm. They believe God is a creator. We believe God's creator. Mm-hmm. They believe, they believe God is one. We believe God is one, although we also have the Trinity, yeah. right? Um, but they have different, they also have drastically different ideas where they, like the Quran talks about how, um, they have to like get rid of the infidel and mm-hmm. like get, and like kill the infidel. Yeah. The, like, their image of God is definitely different. Yeah. And so because their image of God is different, it's almost like it might be similar in some ways, but it's different. Mm-hmm. So it's not the same. And like Paul says, if anyone comes and preaches you another gospel, like a different Christ, another gospel, let him be accursed. He's like, it's not, Mm -hmm. there's only one way to Jesus. And Mm -hmm. although you might have similar ways, like you might have a really light shade of gray, but it's never going to be white, Mm -hmm. you know, so it might not be that way. And now their heart might be like, I really want to serve God. I really want to worship God. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, and God has done this in the Middle East, 
where if people are genuinely seeking to serve God from a pure heart, mm. they end up at Jesus. Mm-hmm. Their journey will take them to Jesus, in my opinion, mm-hmm. in some capacity. Where like you would hope, yeah, uh, yeah. At least whether like a missionary comes and talks to them, or they see something on TV, or the like the prophet by night come, or mm-hmm. the prophet in the dream comes, and maybe they don't know the name of Yahweh or Jesus, but they know there's this white prop, this prophet in white. White robes, prophet. The white prophet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joel Osteen. <laughs> <laughs> there's a prophet in white that comes to them in the dreams, and they're like trying to, and they're doing what they can to follow mm-hmm. that image. Yeah. Like they're they're accountable with the understanding they have, right? Yeah. So if they, and I believe that that, uh, I would hope they're genuinely trying to follow like, and God's revealing Himself in different ways, and they're trying mm-hmm. to walk that way. I believe that like you know I hope that they would eventually get to the point of Christianity. Mm-hmm. What about this scenario? Let's say God, uh, someone is a Muslim that lives in the Middle East, never heard of Christianity. Uh huh. Right? Possibility. Um, never heard of Christianity. God comes to him. Uh, in some kind of spiritual experience, maybe a dream, maybe a vision. Like maybe, a true God. Yeah, yeah, like actually okay. God, right? Um, but doesn't reveal a lot about himself, but just says, like, I am God. And um, and that person, like, doesn't know, like, what to do about that. And, like, continues to be a Muslim because he thinks that, like, that is... And, of course, this is a made-up situation. Right. But because he's like, I don't know how else to worship this God that has revealed himself to me other than, like, how my culture does it. Like, so I'm just going to try to do that. Now, you would probably say, like, maybe God would try to be more specific or real yeah, himself in a more specific that, way. That's what I would say. But, like, is is there any difference in that for that person if he's genuinely trying to know God in that situation? What do you think about Any Allah? difference meaning what? Like, like in, in his worship to Allah, because he's trying to use the experience that the actual God has given him um, versus, like, someone who hasn't had that experience but is just, like, being Muslim culturally. Right. Stuff like that. What do you think? Um, I think that God would reveal himself more than that, probably. But there's also instances where maybe that doesn't happen. Like, I'm sure there's right. lots of Muslims who have, a, like, the dream of the man in white, right? And Christians don't get to them. Like, it's a possibility. Right. You know what I mean? It's the possibility that it yeah. probably exists out there. Yeah. Um, but I think they can worship that God. But it'd be interesting to think, do they think that is separate from Allah? I or would not? think it would be... Assume, like I've never obviously been a Muslim who had the experience of that dream, mm-hmm. but I would think it'd be a little bit more specific, mm-hmm. and they it, God would reveal himself like, hey, this is not true. This is not you're not following this correctly. Mm-hmm. Now that's this, and this kind of leads a little bit into another conversation where it's like, when people say, hey, you can be Muslim, or, or you're not Muslim. You, if you're a Muslim, you can convert to Christianity, and you're still okay to go to the mosque five times a day and pray to just start praying to Jesus. Yeah, and to yourself, I think that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, like, because in a lot of those countries, if you convert to Christianity, you might either be excommunicated from your community or killed, yeah. or killed, right? And so they're like, hey, I'm following Jesus. I want to, like, evangelize and live. Um, maybe I should go to the mosque. I would like to live. <laughs> yeah. So I will continue to go to the mosque, but worship Jesus. But yeah, and I think, like, I would say for a very new Christian, that might be something that's like, yeah, that's okay. Mm-hmm. And I don't, that's like, I have no idea. I'm not, like, I have so little understanding of how that whole world works. Mm-hmm. You know, that I'm not, like, someone that can say, like, you should or shouldn't do that. I'm like, I think you that makes sense, and you're still worshiping God. You're still, mm-hmm. you now, now you're, it's actually not still, you're like, it's like now you're worshiping God. Mm-hmm. Now you're truly following Jesus, because you have the correct di- direction in where you're going. Yeah. You know, so you you have, like, it's like someone's, like, the whole idea of trying to get to Mexico, right? It's like, well, if you're going north, you're going to get to Canada. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, oh, if you turn around and you start heading south, it's like, now you're truly going to... Mm-hmm. You thought you were going to Mexico before, but now you're actually going to Mexico. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so you might drive and spend the gas money and do all the things that are necessary to get to Mexico, but in the wrong direction. And mm-hmm. you'll never get there. Mm-hmm. And we wouldn't ever say like, oh yeah, you're kind of going to Mexico. It's like, well, you're going to your idea of Mexico, mm-hmm. but it's not true Mexico. So you got to reorient your map. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we've talked about... Like, the action of desiring God, right? Uh-huh. And we talked about knowing him. And does that, like, spill over at all into anything for God or for us on this earth if you don't believe in, like, the one true God? Um, so we've talked, and we don't think either of those do necessarily. What about worship as, like, the last one? Like, if if there is a Muslim out there or a Jew or something, and they're worshiping God, and they genuinely want to worship him, and want to, like, know him. We talked about how God might reveal himself to them. But do you think God gets any worship from a Muslim trying to, like, in good faith, worship Allah as, like, God? Do you think 
yeah. Yahweh actually gets any worship from that necessarily. Yeah, again, I, I'd probably say no. Yeah. Like, just because if that was the case, I don't see why God would have been so harsh about other p- nations around Israel worshiping other gods. Mm-hmm. You know, they worshiped Moloch. They thought he was a creator. Maybe they worshiped Baal. They maybe thought he was a creator. And it's this idea that, like, God's like, that's not how you worship me. That's mm-hmm. not, like, I'm not... And and God really doesn't like idolatry. He doesn't like mm-hmm. when it worship. And he says, like, oh, what? And there's a, I think there's a Bible verse that says, like, he... Well, he's a, one, he's a jealous God. We know that, biblically. Mm-hmm. So because he's a jealous God, he's not going to be very... Take kindly to people, like, I, I want to worship you, but I'm going to do it, like, to my idea over here. It's like, mm-hmm. God's like, no, I, don't, I want your whole being. I want you, because I created mm-hmm. you. I love you. Um, but I thought there was a part where God says, like, he won't let his, like, worship go to another. But I can't... My phone's over there, so I can't yeah. look it up. But I thought there was something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. You want to look it up real quick? Um, what um, is the exact... I would, I would think it would be, like... Um, I won't let worship go to another, maybe. Um, if you can't, if it takes too long to search it, no worries. We don't have to do that. But it's just the idea that I, I think God is so serious about wanting worship in the right way that he's not necessarily going to play games with it. Now, he's also loving and gracious and will have mercy on people, you know. But I think if they're trying to worship the true God and they're doing it in an accurate way, he will correct the process because mm-hmm. he loves them, mm-hmm. you know. And I think anyone who would who encounters that would be like, oh, I don't want to worship. Like, I don't want to, like, worship God in the way that I used to. I want to worship God in the way he wants to be worshipped. Hmm. You know, because that's also part of it. It's like, when you get saved, you have a heart that loves God. And so, then you're, you're like, wanting to honor God in the way that he wants to be worshipped. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 42, 8 ESV says, I am the Lord, that is my name. Uh, I wonder what... The word for Lord there is probably Yahweh. Is it all caps? Uh, no. Oh. Um, I am the Lord. That is my name. Uh, my glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carved idols. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of makes it be like, yeah, I don't... Yeah. Now, I do think, though, like I said earlier, like if someone's really trying to follow Jesus, mm-hmm. and they're like, or follow God, and they're like, I just, I don't, I just like, oh, no, I, I want to be a devout Muslim, I want to mm-hmm. be a devout Jew, I want to be a devout Hindu, whatever, trying to follow the creator. I think... And I would hope that eventually they would end at Jesus. They'd yeah. be like, oh, wow. Because like, everyone's responsible with the revelation that they have. And God is faithful enough to get them to mm-hmm. the rest of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. So in all of this conversation, we don't think that any of the worship or knowledge or action goes, gains anything to God or the person. Right. right. Um, we've talked about that for like Muslims and Jews kind of because it's a good representation. But last, like, little hypothetical, kind of not the same question, but interesting. What do we do then with sort of these tribes people hypothesize about where their, like, cultural religion is very similar to, like, Christianity? Yeah. Right? And they have, like, maybe a flood story in there, and... um, Which is how we know it was worldwide, not just local. Anyways. Yeah. Um, (laughs) And stuff like that. Uh... What do we do about those instances? Right. Do we think those people, it's a different religion, obviously yeah. not Christianity, right? They don't have a lot of knowledge and they maybe have some different practices in there and stuff like that. Uh-huh. They have a lot of knowledge of what's happened in the past or who Jesus is and stuff. But their model of God looks very similar, like eerily similar to um, the God that we believe in. Uh-huh. Um, do we think that there's room in there for those people to be worshiping that God and it go to, like that worship go towards go to God or that knowledge right. go towards Yahweh right. or anything or no? I would think yes. and yeah. um, So does that difference then, is that occur in how much wrong things they believe about God? or Probably. Okay. Like So for instance, the, at least the story I'm thinking of, there's this book, you guys can look it up, it's called Bruchko. Mm-hmm. It's a story of this missionary who went to the border of, I think, Colombia. Mm-hmm. And he was there and there was this tribe. And they were like, really like always killing like they killed anyone who went there mm-hmm. and everyone's like leave him alone he's like well god told me to go i'm gonna go preach all the christians all the christians are like don't do it and he's like well god told me to i'm gonna go he goes gets shot with an arrow mm-hmm. and like the leg gets taken prisoner and then while he's there one of the people have um pink eye so then he has pink eye medicine on him so he gives it to them and he heals a pink eye and everyone's like oh my gosh mm-hmm. he just what so they all start loving him because he has this medicine that he heals them with and then um, he learn. he's a linguist as well. So he learns the language and learns to communicate with one of the guys there. He becomes really good friends with them. 
and he's a Christian. He was trying to get them to be Christians, and he's learning about their culture, and he hears the stories of their, like, their difference and their, um... Mm. Religion. Yeah, their religion and what their, and all their stuff. And he found out that in their culture, their story was that, oh, we used to be close with God. We, our people group, rejected God, and he's mad at us, and so mm. he's far away. But one day, God's going to come back for with in, in a banana stalk carried by a blonde white man. Mm. And this guy was blonde and white. Mm. And he's like, oh, weird. And so he rolls up the Bible. Like, banana stalks look like, mm. if you cut them, it looks like, you know. So he, he rolls up the, bi- the Bible, and he says, this is like the banana stalk, and God is here. Mm. And, every, and he's like, whoa. And his friend, he like like found out he's like well he converted he learned christianity mm-hmm. then he had this whole they have like a celebration where they like sing these they make these like four hour long worship songs to their gods and mm-hmm. they like the tribes will come together and like kind of compete in a sense of who can make the best song mm-hmm. and so this guy makes a song sharing the gospel and talking about the man and stuff and like 95 percent of the people get saved mm-hmm. and become christians but i would say that those people before that time they had this prophecy we were close to God. We rebelled, and now we're far from God. Mm-hmm. God is going to come back to us and bring us close. Mm-hmm. That's the story of Christianity. Mm-hmm. So I would say those people who died believing that prophecy probably went to heaven because the Jews in the Old Testament had the similar the story, right. and they were saved by their faith in that yeah. story, right? And so when that guy comes and he rolls it up and he's like, yeah, like this, and everyone realizes, oh, the full revelation of Jesus is here, mm-hmm. and they get saved, I would say, yeah, that all those people probably are in heaven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely interesting to think about. I think definitely that situation. It's Mm -hmm. very specific. makes sense. Um, If I had this situation of, say, there's two tribes, and both of them believe in a very, very eerily similar, like, version of Yahweh, Uh right, philosophically, Um, but maybe one one tribe is, like, almost pure Christianity, but without the knowledge of who Jesus is, but they, they understand that God sacrificed himself for us and, like... They have, like, kind of our version of Christianity philosophically and, like, what God did, but not the names and stuff. Right. right? And not a lot of the actions, obviously, on the Bible. Um, they have a lot of stories. There's there's those people. And we kind of would say, okay, probably Christian, right? Mm-hmm. And we'd say, good chance they know the one true God, right? Good chance? Yeah. Um, well, let's say, like, their next-door neighbors believe in the same God, but believe he's a little different, and they have some different practices about him, like, uh, maybe they include some things that are a little, like, hindu or... Buddhist yeah. or something like that, right? Yeah. They add some things in there. How much is, like, too much, then, for your... Now you're not, like, worshipping the one true God. Like, you're worshipping right. this other false image of God. Would it be about the character of God that needs to be distorted? Or to be the way that they're worshipping that needs to be distorted for them to not it, be worshipping God anymore? Yeah, it might or be is a, there no line you can really draw? It's... I would say it's probably... I don't know what if there's a line we can draw. I would mm-hmm. say it probably has to do with the character of mm-hmm. God. Like it, like their version of God, their character, right? Like if one version of the God, of their God says like, "Oh, you're supposed to love your enemies," and the other tribe is like, "You're supposed to kill your enemies." It's like, okay, if you're killing your enemies, you're clearly not following the God right. Bible. It, but this one says, "Oh no, we believe God says love your enemies." It's like, there you go. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, like I'd say the the practice in which you worship, in a sense, like if you believe it's like, oh, we have to do good things, and that's how we're saved. We get like the work stuff. That's like, eh. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say it's probably about like how you follow this God and what you believe about this God. Yeah. Cause you could believe that this God wants you to kill everyone who doesn't believe. And it's by works you're saved. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to like go and genocide like other tribes because you're like, Oh, this is good. I'm working for God. Right. But I'm killing men. Right. You know, and there's a verse that in, in the Bible, it's, I think it's, it's one of the gospels, but it's specifically it's talking about the Jews. Jesus is talking specifically about the Jews, but I think this can apply to a lot of different people. It's like, it says they'll they'll kill you thinking they do a service to God. Right. The idea being, in their mind, they're doing what they need to do to worship God, right. but it's completely against what the, what God is actually like. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, I think we'd see a lot of that. So yeah. I, I would say it's probably character and, like, practice. Is that what you'd say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it... I think the cultural practices matter less like the ways in which they worship god that may Uh have to be like culturally created just like we create a lot of our own cultural ways to worship god yeah maybe less effective or maybe less affecting in the knowing god part of it or or taking away from the knowing god part of it than the character Uh of who they think god is um because i mean probably that tribe that we described about the banana stock and stuff probably didn't have the exact character of god but their story was was very similar and they all accepted christ so i think that that passes 
Um, but yeah. yeah, I think that if they had close understanding of who God is, like like Islam is a very close understanding of who God is to our God, but but like there's definitely a lot of character things that become different. Yeah. But like it's as, almost as close as you can get besides like Judaism. Well, that's true. Right? Okay, so they're very close to being Christians, but the way that the teachings of the Quran are very right opposite. Right, and the character of God is displayed very differently too. Yeah. Right, and so I wouldn't say it's the same God, but right. I think. Um, at some point, there's a line that's in that gray area. I just don't know right. where it is necessarily. Right, right. Yeah. It's interesting, though. Yeah. What's really... Um, what was the other topic we thought about to- discussing, the third one, that we d- we're not going to do, but we might do later? Uh, paradoxes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't thought about that. Okay. Um, but I was... I thought it related to this, but... It, um, well, it's just, I, I was just... It's just an interesting thought. Let me know what you think about it. Mm-hmm. When... Because I was thinking about like all these tribes. It's like maybe they have a they, they have a partial picture, and maybe God's merciful. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I think because then people are like, well, if they are going to if they if their partial picture is good enough for them to get to heaven, why would I, should I mess with it? You know, why should I evangelize to them if they're if God's mm-hmm. being merciful right now? Well, because you don't know. Probably. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So so you one you don't know if they're going to heaven. Yeah. And two, why would you not want them to have a full picture of God? Right. You know, like. Like, wouldn't we want people to be like, oh, wait, you have a partial, wait, you want the whole thing. You know, mm-hmm. like, if you have, like, part of a recipe for a, a dinner, like a chicken or a steak, mm-hmm. and it's good, it tastes good, it's like, yeah. oh, this, is, this is satisfying, but then if you got the full, and it's like, maybe you forgot the butter when you're cooking the steak. Right. You know, you cook that thing in butter, oh my gosh. Way better. Way better. Yeah. Right? So it's like, why not, if, if people have a partial picture, it might, it might be good enough, but we, we don't know, so we can't live with that knowledge. Right. But it's also like, oh, we should be motivated. Like, I want them to have the full picture, mm-hmm. right? And and so I think that should, why, if anyone's wondering, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do anything. It's like, well, no, we should still right. pursue the full picture because it's it's better than what they have. Right, right. We don't know how the Gentiles, in that sense, are judged. Right. Because um, it's not by the same standard that we're judged, but we should want them to know God fully. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's all. That's all. Nice. Right. That was an interesting topic. Glad we got to talk about it, figure out a little bit. If you guys have any different opinions, you let us know. Or if you can think of any different scenarios or instances, we'd love to hear about it as well. Um, yeah, you let us know. All the normal things: Patreon, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. All in the description below. Check yeah. it out. All right, y'all. See you next week. Bye.